Loyalty, how is everyone doing? Today we got a very special debut. I think that this card right here is the best Team Affinity Season 2 card you can get. It is going to be starting pitcher Edward Cabrera. How do you get this Edward Cabrera? I'll show you real quick before we even get into the video. You head on over to programs, you head on over to Team Affinity, and then you go to the NL East. And once you obtain 60 Team Affinity points through doing tasks, you will be able to select one of these fives. I would select Edward Cabrera first, and hopefully in this video, you're about to find out exactly why. Now, if you're new here and end up knowing today's content, please make sure to hit that like button, red subscribe button, turn on the channel notifications, and then everything else that you will need is going to be inside the description from the Discord to my social medias. Now, we got ourselves leading it off, Blade Miss, followed by Jordan Alvarez, Byron Buxton, Gary Sanchez, Freddie Freeman, Anthony Santander, Joey Gallo, and Jackie Robinson. And yes, I got plenty of more Team Affinity Season 2 cards, but I'm not going to debut them all in one video. So you guys are going to get a ton of Ranked Seasons gameplay coming to you very soon. So we're playing at a minor league stadium. He has Sixto Sanchez on the mound. And in the background, it might be a little bit difficult to see the ball because of the sun, but we'll work with it. We'll take that walk with Blade, bring up Jordan Alvarez, looking to do some damage instantly. Jordan Alvarez, a little bit early on that outside fast, but we pull it down to right field for a single. Byron Buxton, I tried to turn on that slider. As you can see, the PCI just wasn't on the ball. If we would have gotten that PCI a little bit more towards the center, we might have been able to drive that inside the gap. And Gary Sanchez also making his debut. Gary Sanchez, that's why they call him the Kraken. When I make my catcher's positional tier list, I promise you, you're gonna see this card that you're seeing right here in the top five. I promise you that, boom by inside the chat. And because this isn't a live stream, boom by inside the comment section. Freddie Freeman is gonna get himself a base hit too. He accidentally moves the center fielder away from the ball. So instead of just getting a base hit, we're going to be able to move to second as well. Anthony Santander, that's going to go inside the gap. Going to get us a nice little double outside fastball. Just drove it where it came from. That's what you got to do when it comes to hitting. Can't try to pull every single ball. Can't be late on each and every single one. Got to drive it where it's pitched. I mean... For crying out loud, everything Sixto is throwing right now, we're just on it. Outside, perfect, perfect, we're just on it. That's that's all I can say about it. He's going to go ahead and quit out, and we're not even going to be able to see Edward Cabrera, most likely. So that's a little unfortunate, because now what occurs is, his stamina is gone. With his stamina being gone, that means we can't use him. So this is now going to turn into Gary Sanchez's rank season stage. Never mind, since he didn't throw a pitch, it seems like he will still be able to start for us. So scratch that previous statement. It is still Edward Cabrera's rank season debut. Let's go and have some fun. So we're still away, and this time around we're facing Roy Oswald. Let's see, created stadium or PNC? It's PNC actually. I don't know why, but that camera angle that they give you in the beginning, it makes me feel like it's a created stadium every single time. They definitely improved that from last year's gameplay. I can tell you that. Jordan Alvarez gets a high fastball. We just get a tad underneath it. If the PCI was on it, you can best believe that would have left through center. Perfect, perfect by Byron Buxton. Is this one going to leave? Yes, sir, it is. Boom, by inside the comment section. And I want to know how many of y'all watched the entire video. So y'all better say boom, by times however many home runs we hit throughout the entirety of this video. Right back up the middle, Gary Sanchez hit that ball extremely well, but the shift was on him, unfortunately, or else we would have had a base hit. Now this is a big tip for anyone facing Byron Buxton. A lot of people are gonna try to bunt with him. So please make sure you always put bunt defense on. Him. 
we get our first official strikeout with Edward Cabrera. Horrible pinpoint pitching. It seems that his changeup, you gotta flick it a lot faster than I expected. But listen, the beautiful thing about this Edward Cabrera card is the outlier on the sinker. It comes in at 93 to 100. And if you think it's difficult to hit a sinker on all-star difficulty, imagine when you get to Hall of Fame and imagine when you get to Legend. What is going on with my stick? Y'all saw that too, right? It was like bugging out for some reason. One, two, three inning for Edward Cabrera. I need to find out his timing. And that's one of the most difficult things about pinpoint and why a lot of people stay away from pinpoint because you got to find the timing of each and every single pitch for each and every single pitcher, especially when there's a runner on base and when there's not a runner on base. He hits Freddie Freeman, had him in the hole, 0-2 count. He decided to hit him in the leg. Anthony Santander, we are just falling off these pitches for home runs. Anthony Santander decides, hey, I fouled off the previous one. I'm not going to do that this time around. Bomba once again. That's what we do here. Right back up the middle, Jackie Robinson gets a base hit. We're most likely going to instantly try to steal with Jackie because I don't have that 99 overall where I spent over 300k for no reason. We're going to try to steal. We're not going to go ahead and bunt at all. If he gets a good throw, he might be gunned out. But this is the bad thing about Posada. He doesn't have good arm strength. That's why I like Huff a lot. And that's why I also like Matt Wieters a lot. Both of them have great arm strength and you won't basically have a Jackie Robinson running the bases like you guys see right there. Edward Cabrera is trying to get himself a base hit, trying to help out the cause. Gonna be a pop-up most likely. Are we gonna try to be Fernando Tatis? Nah, not with that animation. Not gonna try that at all. Blade missed that Ozzy Albi swing. That Ozzy Albi swing. Let's go another bomba inside the chat. That's why I love using Ozzy Albi swing. That leg kick, and then even if the pitch is super inside, I just feel like he can drive it, no problem. I don't know what it is. Almost felt like that was gonna be a home run as well. Like I said, we're just underneath it with Jordan Alvarez. Once we get that sweet spot, home runs every time. That's how deadly the sinker is. Bring it in on the hands, they're not expecting it, and even if they are expecting it, it's very hard to turn on it. Especially if you are playing on a TV. If you are playing on a TV and not a monitor, it is going to be extremely difficult to play on Hall of Fame, let alone Legend, especially against pitchers that have outliers. We get the strikeout as well, so another 1-2-3 inning, I bet you money he's going to quit. I take that back. We're not betting money that he's going to quit, at least not this inning, unless I score like two or three more. Then we're betting the money and you guys will owe me it. That was on me. It was a hanger. We just weren't able to drive it the way I wanted to. We're going to stay at second base because Aaron Judge has a cannon. Gary Sanchez, no shift on him this time around. Early on an outside fastball, still manages to muscle it up, hit it over the infield for a single. Hey, he quit this inning. You guys owe me my money. And that's going to be it for Edward Cabrera slash Gary Sanchez's debut. Why? Because unfortunately, now Edward Cabrera, let's go and look at the stamina. He's most likely not going to have any stamina at all. So with that being the case, we're going to have to find someone else to debut for the next video. And I'll give you guys a sneak peek. It's going to be a third baseman. And then after the third baseman, it's going to be a catcher. But if you did end up enjoying today's content, please make sure to hit that like button, red subscribe button. Don't forget to go ahead and turn on the channel notifications as well. Follow me on all my socials. Everything you need from the Discord to how to become a member to my socials, they are all inside the description. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. And if you're ever looking for anything in particular in terms of playlists, click on the channel, playlist section, community tab, you can interact with me there. And then home tab has my other YouTube channels. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.